that because they have a leader now. That will Simply put, Gura is a beautiful countryside with awesome landscapes. If something differently will be done to the Nigerian textile industry, that our youth will be employed. We are taking a kennel tour of the communities of the Bank of River Nedja in Jetsu. The countryside of Kano State is a land of amazing beauty. It is a vast agricultural wonderland that provides life support to hundreds of thousands of farming families. In this countryside, you need to be super lazy to die of hunger and of want. There is good life not only in crop production, but also in the natural value chains arising from harvest. The landscape says it all. It has that abiding aura of vastness and land fertility. In fact, all year round, this countryside is either lush green or clean, ready for another round of cropping. The farmers say you do not lose your harvest here, and the land supports rich variety of crops. There is the story of wheat farmers. There is this federal initiative to scale up wheat production nationwide to support the nation's demand for wheat and flour. The driving force of this thing that we are seeing here was last year. When the farmers, few farmers embraced wheat farming last year in Kano, about 5,000 farmers. When they grow the wheat, the price appreciated. So the price appreciation, you know, encourage more farmers to come out this season to embrace the wheat production. So how many farmers are in, uh, producing wheat uh, into wheat production? This Last year it was 5,000. This year it was 25,000 farmers in Kano State alone. 25,000 hectares, I may say. What is the perspective now? Are they, are they, are they getting it right? Are, this edition, are they getting it right? Are we, what, what is the expectation from the farmlands now? Which is a producing crop. There is no farmer that can grow one hectare of wheat farm and tell you that I have made a loss. Never. Wheat cultivation in Kano is a dry season in Deva. Kano has a little secret which is key to its agricultural power. Kano has the best irrigation facilities, more than any other state in this country. In fact, as we speak, such as six local governments, out of the 44 local governments in Kano State, are directly connected with an irrigation facility. So it is agriculture only around for the people of Kano State. But obviously, this is one of the challenges of Trigger Dam, which is supplying water to hundreds of farming families across these axes. There are several others along that are other axes as well. Rich irrigation systems connecting hundreds of agricultural communities ensure that farmers in Kano have no rest period. The dam systems add beauty to the landscape, but it gives life more. Waters are not only useful for agricultural activity, but also serve the household needs of the people. They are handy too, as water points for livestock.
and perspective. Rich irrigation systems allow for wheat cultivation in Kano State on a large scale. Wheat is, a, is an irrigable crop. It's a temperate crop. So you have to do it under irrigation. And under this cold atmosphere with this dust blowing. It also allows for rich cultivation of other crops, of which tomato is one. We bring tomato because it is not only produced through the irrigation systems, but also the production has created an institution in which hundreds of people across the state and beyond find life. It is the story of a roadside market that has national outreach. It is the tomato market of Kanargafan. For anybody that is familiar with the Kano to Kaduna Road, he cannot miss Kanargafan. Kanargafan is an illustrious area where thousands of people are finding their life daily, doing something in agriculture, doing something about tomato, especially at this time of the year. It is dry season. It is a time for irrigation. And when it is harvest time, Kuala Gapan is a place where hundreds of bakers, lamb bakers, do load and go to markets across Nigeria loading one thing, tomato. And you know what? The tomato this year is something different. Last year, people lost producing tomato. This year, they again producing the same tomato. It is a different story altogether. Kuala Gapan is a market with a difference. It is a specialized market, a monoproduct market, a tomato market. It is a market that emerged from tomato farmlands. There are no nearby human settlements close to it. It also has such navy proximity to a major highway linking Kano with the old state south of it. Konargapan is an inlet and outlet market for tomato. It has been there for decades. It is a seasonal market that always starts January and ends May when the tomato season is over. Common Gapan tomato market is the only one of its type in Kano State. When the tomato farms begin to discharge their products, every farmer has his eyes on Kano Gapan. The farm environment at this time of the year is a picture of collection and movement to the farm and to the market. In the market, there is this abiding picture of uploading vehicles that brought tomatoes to the market. Pictures of activities here are heartwarming, considering that in the year before, tomato farmers in Kano suffered heavy losses due to a tomato worm that ravaged their plantations. They call it tuta absoluta. Because based on our findings, about 1.184 billion naira, you know, was lost by farmers to this uh, worm. Tomato uh, tuta absoluta. 1.184. 1 billion 184 million. Nine. You know, yes, in almost 30 local government areas of Kano State, you know, have uh, 44 local governments. Yes, so it's only 14 local governments that the infestation was not very serious, not very devastating. Yeah. No, any disease so far this year. No, any disease so far this year. Yeah, my disease almost used to come around May, April, because due to the temperature change. 
So, so far now, you know that the, 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 the degree of temperature is 32, 30, 29 sometimes. So the, the temperature is favorable to the tomato uh, plant. Okay. But you have, five, you have three more, four months to go. I learned that the tomato season is from January to May. Yeah, from January to May. Up to, the, this normally used to come around May, April, as I have told you so far. So from now on, the, the, the market is very good and the tomato plant is very fine. There is no any disease so far. Experience. Tomato market this year is like an atonement for the losses of the year before. The tomatoes do not encounter any mistances of growth. They are coming out fine and the prices are good. The only drawback is that many farmers did not produce tomato this year. They migrated to other crops in the aftermath of the tomato losses of the last year. The situation is that uh, this year we, are, we have very good price so far. We, the, the market is very appreciable and uh, we produce enough. But you know the situation of the country. Almost everything due to the changes of the currency. Almost everything has been uh, appreciated. So the price is very good this year. Because if you can see today, a basket of 60 to 55 uh, kilograms is sold at the cost of 3,000, 2,500 naira today, as of today. It's good price. It's good price. It's good price compared to last year. We are selling 400 naira. Gabon market is extensive. Along its breadth is tomato. Every day, you find close to 10,000 people. They are all brought by one thing, tomato. This market operates 24 hours and it is in enormous land. It has no provision for sleeping quarters. There are three major players in this market. In Kuala Gavan, there are various stages of delivery. There is delivery from the farmlands to the market itself, that is the Kuala Gavan itself. Now, this is one of such situations where vehicles are loaded from the farmlands and bring it directly to the market. In the market, dealers will process the tomato for markets nationwide. But this is the very first situation where the motors are coming from the farmlands. In the words of Chairman Kano State Tomato Dealers Association, no less than 50 trucks leave Kuala Gavan daily with their cargo of tomato to destinations across Nigeria. As several vehicles are loading or moving, tents are on standby waiting for their call up. In the market, there are bays where vehicles load to different locations. When it comes to vehicles, that you carry tomato to markets across Nigeria from Kalangapan. Every kind of vehicle is a fair game. You can look at these tankers. Familiarly, you may think they are there only to carry fuel to markets across Nigeria, but they also carry tomato from Kalangapan. Yes, every distant traveling vehicle is being used to convey tomato from Kalangapan to Nigeria market. Tankers, articulated vehicles, and trucks. <music> The tomato season in Kano is just starting, and in the coming month, the supply to Gapa market will skyrocket. There is this fear that farmers may encounter losses through wastages on account of market blockade. Yeah, so that's the... How do we wisdom. address the issue of wastage? Uh, of course, because you have to... there is no factory, there is nothing to... Definitely, the definitely there yeah. must be, you know, a, a, a processing plant yeah. that will process the, the commodity... Yeah at the time of harvest when it is a surplus in the market, yeah. then uh, for it to be used maybe in a later, later time. The story about tomato production in Kano today is that as people are cultivating, they are also replanting. Many farmers enjoy two to three cycles of tomato cultivation. It so happened too that many farmers who produce tomato in large quantities invite virus to their farmlands so that they can mop it up without going to the market.
gaskiya bana alhamdulillah bare da yi tabbas mana ma tun dan dana amma yanzu iya ci gaba manumi na cikin but this year the tomato farmer is in celebration mood and he has contentment we pray for the good health of the nigerian president and we pray for hiding peace and prosperity for the country despite the quantum of tomato that is coming out of the farms in kano the tomato growers say they could produce more their challenge for now is that they use low breed tomato seeds no we, we can do better we can do more because the the, the, the the variety of seed that we have is not a hybrid varieties due to the exorbitant price of the hybrid varieties but that's why we are appealing to government to come to our aid to subsidize the seed so that we can import hybrid whereby in, a, in, in a, per, hect per hectare now if you are using the OPB that you offer for limited price you are, you are we are just getting 20 to 15 ton per hectare but if you are using a hybrid you can get up to 80 tons per hectare You know, we have uh, realized that one of the major costs of this tuta absoluta is recycling of, 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 uh, of seeds. Okay. You get what I'm saying? People are used to, you know, recycling seeds over the years. Yeah, well, seed so we are, we are trying to in introduce what we call uh, improved uh, uh, seeds varieties okay. for them so that at least we will uh, try to a large extent the devastation of this. Uh, is this government doing it or you are going into contact the, with the entrepreneurs? No, the, the government and all other NGOs. Gabon tomato market created various value chains. At every stage of the chain, tens of people find jobs to do. The biggest value chain lies with the makers of baskets. The Gabon tomato market has a natural value chain. It has created another market, a market for makers of baskets. People like these ones. These people are making baskets, and this is the container with which tomatoes are loaded, and they are loaded to markets across Nigeria. These baskets are meant to carry tomatoes. So that is the natural uh, occurrence, so that is the natural uh, result of what is happening to tomato now. Tomato boom, basket boom. Every day, hundreds of baskets are sold here. The basket market is so conspicuous on the roadside. Many of the traders say they brought the basket from Inugu. There are some who make it locally. Both have a ready market. Hey. Uh -huh. What these people are telling me is that these baskets are being brought in from Onicha. Now, when they arrive like this, what they do is to wear them. That means to strengthen them using wires like this one so that they can be thicker and they cannot break on transit. So as they do that also, they sell to the people that are holding tomato to various markets across Nigeria. There is an ongoing plan that will enable tomatoes from Kwaner Gapan to reach international markets. Already, the improvement of security situation in the northeast has given the suppliers perspectives. Yeah, we are planning to start taking outside the country. There are some groups which are contacting us here from Lagos uh, about how we can negotiate, make uh, an agreement with them. They will export it outside the country. Also. So this year we don't have wastage. We don't have. We have. We, we don't have wastage. But all the problem is that our people are not uh, really. Uh, they don't even accept change. In sometimes, I can show you. We have some crates here, but they don't want to patronize the crates. If you are using the crate, you will lose the post harvest loss to 40 percent. So so far, if you take it in the basket from here to Lagos, you are post harvest loss about 35 to 40 percent. But if you are do, you are by the of this right here basket, but if you are using the, the crates, the loss is about five percent, even less than five percent. It's most favorable. The nation is moving forward now and peace is pervading all parts of the country. Where tomato couldn't reach last year. It is being taken this year. The market is open and in full bloom. All the parts of northeast and southeast of the country where a year ago tomato did not reach, it is getting there now. 
Because of the transient nature of the market, they are always provision for rest and entertainment. When the sun is going down, the spirit of sport is awakened in Konargavan. It's a beautiful rest outlet here. Hundreds turn out daily to watch. Heroes are celebrated. Losers are offered kind words. Today, this market may have everything going for it. It, however, has issues it wants to share. Secondly, in terms of the federal government, we want them to enroll, to enroll, to enroll tomato growers into Anka Grower Program because we have an optaker who is Dangote Group. He has a factory of the 120 metric tons per day. So if the government can assist us and register us in the data, our database for the Anka Grower Program, they are ready to uptake and we are ready to produce our market also will be better. Then we are calling for the international donors, those who are coming to assist farmers. Let them, when they come, let us come and discuss with them. We will tell them our need, so that they may not come and give us what we don't do. For instance, if you say that you want, you want to give a training to a farmer how to produce tomato, you are wasting your time. We have that in experience our own, because we are born into this program. Even if you come, we will add you our own. You ask us what we need, then we will tell you what you can what what not what what they want from now up to the end of may color gapan can only be better do not however crave to see it beyond that it literally disappears to reappear in the beginning of every new year